What's up, people? Happy Tuesday. Hope all of you are having a great day. Great night. Um, this fucking episode of General Hospital was bonkers. Um, let me get right into the shit. So, everybody is basically trying to figure out what the fuck is going on with Luke. So, Sam and Patrick are talking to Dante, Lulu, and Tracy about Luke. And all the pieces are coming together. Um, about Luke threatening Spencer. I mean, they all were skeptical because, of course, Spencer is a little kid. He's only, what, eight years old? You know what I mean? He, you know, they're not going to believe an eight-year-old, but all the pieces are starting to come together. So they're trying to figure out where the hell Luke is so they can get answers. Tracy gets a text message on her phone from Luke telling her that he wants to meet with her in Amsterdam. Because remember, Anthony Gary, Anthony Gary is really in Amsterdam in real life. You know, he has a vacation home out there in uh, Amsterdam. So my guess is they're going to probably do some um, shooting in Amsterdam. I hope so. I really do hope that they do some location um, filming and stuff, you know, on location. I hope they do. because I would love to see Amsterdam. I'm pretty sure I'm never going to get to go in real life. So I would love to see it on the show. Um... So anyway, Sonny is at Carly's getting all sentimental, talking about her jacked up cooking. And he keeps telling her that, you know, she shouldn't be marrying Franco and, you know, running down a list of the crimes that Franco has committed. And you want to know what's funny when he said all the crimes that Franco did and Carly said it was the brain tumor. Did you not look at the look on Laura Wright's face when she said it was the brain tumor? She looked like she wanted to laugh. I swear to God, it looked like she wanted to laugh. I rewind it like five times. She looked like she wanted to laugh when she said that. I'm like, damn, you don't even believe that shit. Um, so Franco is at the hospital with Nina and he's watching her interactions with Sonny. Trying to see if Sonny and Carly are officially over. So, Sonny, Carly asked Sonny to leave, and Sonny said he wanted a goodbye kiss. So, Franco was getting nervous because he wanted, you know, Carly wasn't saying nothing. And then Carly said that her and Franco were getting married, and then that's when Sonny got a text message, well, a phone call from Sean about what happened at Michael's apartment. So, meanwhile, at the apartment, Michael is being held at gunpoint by this guy that Luke sent. And um, Sean got the gun on him. When Rosalie tried to run, Sean, um, the guy pointed the gun at Rosalie. Sean grabbed Rosalie. Michael overturned the guy. They're fighting for control of the gun. And Michael shoots the guy. And he stood over his body with the gun in his hand. So that's when Sonny and Sean came. And I mean, Sonny and Carly showed up and they're trying to figure out who the guy is, who he works for. So Sonny had his men come and take the body out. And he was, you know, telling Rosalie that the cops are not coming because they're not going to call them. They're not going to report it. I think that was so stupid because clearly this was self-defense. Why would you not call the cops? See, this is why Michael got sent to prison the first time, because he killed Claudia in self-defense and he got prison. This is so dumb. Like you should have just called the cops. Michael was not going to go to jail because it was self-defense. The guy came to his apartment with a gun. He acted in self-defense point blank period. Why would you do this? Like it's so dumb. So anyway, um, Kiki and Morgan are basically interrogating Ava Ava tells them everything that happened with Sonny killing AJ and the fact that Carly knew about it. But of course, she's leaving out the major details of her part in all of this about her killing Connie. Ava's a, she's a sneaky bitch. I have to give it to her. She's a sneaky one. Um, So she's basically telling them all of this. Kiki, I am so sick of her. She thinks that she's entitled to tell Michael everything, but she's keeping secrets from Michael her damn self. So 
Morgan tells her that they shouldn't tell Michael because it's going to destroy him. It's going to destroy his relationship with Sonny and Carly. Here's my thing about it. I would tell him. I'm sorry, but I would tell Michael because I do agree with Kiki. Michael needs to know. This is important. I don't think Kiki should be the one to tell him, but I think that he should know. This is important. Like, seriously, this is major. Um, Rosalie, I like Rosalie. I really do. I like her. I think she's a cool chick. I like her so far. Um, So Alexis is at Julian's place, and you can see the bullet holes are still in the door. Alexis is a dummy. Like, she just cannot leave the mob alone. Technically, Julian didn't lie to Alexis when he swore on his life, Alexis and Sam, that he did that he was not working for Luke. He was actually telling the truth because technically he's not working for Luke. He's working for a guy that looks like Luke. So technically, there's a loophole in that. I do like Julian and Alexis together, but I am so sick of the childish ass games that Alexis keep playing. Like she's a 55 year old woman, 56. 57 why are you playing these games like either you're gonna openly be with him or you're not gonna be with him but stop coming you know coming up with excuses to be around julian if you're not really trying to be with him like come on here what do you want to do like do she want to be with him or do she not or is she just looking for some sexual healing i'm just saying so um Anyway, this episode was pretty good. A lot of action. I hope I'm not forgetting anything. Oh, Nina Clay. I am so sick of Nina. She's boring. Like, a lot of people say, well, you know, Nina's interesting. She's the only one that really has her own storyline. But her storyline is moving slow. It's boring. Like, they need to move it along. And quickly. All of you have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow.